scary stories told to the sound of rain. Tonight, we dive into some chilling tales from real people who have experienced strange and unsettling events. If you're ready to relax, dim the lights, settle in, and let the gentle rain guide you as I recount these true stories of the eerie and unexplained. Whether you're here to unwind, fall asleep, or just enjoy a spine-tingling story, you're in the right place. Story 1. The Unseen Guest I used to live in an old Victorian house in a small town. One night, I woke up around 3 a.m. to the unmistakable sound of footsteps coming down the hallway. They were slow, deliberate, and seemed to pause just outside my bedroom door. I called out, thinking it was my mom, but there was no answer. I sat up, heart pounding, and suddenly felt the weight of someone sitting down at the foot of my bed. I couldn't see anything in the dark, but I could feel the mattress dip. The rain outside added to the quiet eeriness, and after what felt like hours, the weight lifted and the footsteps faded back down the hallway. No one else in the house had heard a thing, but from that night on, I always felt like I was never truly alone in that room. Story 2. The Vanishing Hitchhiker This happened to my uncle on a rainy night years ago. He was driving down a dark, empty road late at night when he saw a young woman standing by the roadside soaked in the rain. Feeling bad for her, he stopped to offer her a ride. She quietly climbed into the back seat, barely saying a word, just thank you. As he drove, he tried making small talk, but she remained silent, staring straight ahead. When they reached her destination, he turned around to tell her they'd arrived, but she was gone. The seat was dry and there was no trace that anyone had been there at all. He later learned from locals that there had been multiple reports of people picking up a woman in that exact spot, only for her to vanish into thin air. Story 3. The Figure at the Window I was staying at a remote cabin in the woods for a weekend getaway. That first night, as the rain poured outside, I sat near the fireplace, trying to enjoy the cozy isolation. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed something at the window. At first, I thought it was a reflection, but as I looked closer, I saw a shadowy figure standing just outside, staring in. My blood ran cold. I grabbed a flashlight, shined it out, but no one was there. I figured it must have been my imagination or a trick of the rain. But the next morning, I found muddy footprints all around the cabin, as though someone had been circling it all night. Four, the basement sounds. My childhood home had a basement that everyone in my family avoided. Strange noises would come from down there whispering, tapping, and sometimes what sounded like faint laughter. One night, I was alone and heard the sound of shuffling footsteps coming from the basement. I froze, listening, as the sound grew louder and louder, making its way toward the stairs. Just as I thought I'd see someone or something at the top step, the sound abruptly stopped. After that, we kept the basement door locked. My parents told me it was just old house noises, but those footsteps never sounded quite human. Story 5 the haunted doll. A friend gifted me an antique doll for my birthday, something she'd found at a flea market. The doll was old with glassy eyes and an odd, almost knowing smile. I placed it on my dresser, but that night, as I lay in bed listening to the rain, I kept feeling like it was watching me. Days later, I'd find it in different places, sitting in a chair across the room or facing the door instead of the wall. One night, I woke up to the sensation of tiny fingers touching my arm. Terrified, I threw the doll out the next day, and the strange occurrences stopped. I still wonder what story that doll carried with it. Thank you for joining me for these true scary stories told to the sound of rain. I hope you found them as hauntingly fascinating as I did. Feel free to drift off to sleep now, or stay a little longer for the calming sound of rain in the background. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you enjoyed tonight's tales. And I'll see you next time for more true stories that might just keep you up at night.